Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and this is day two of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos focusing on writing. Um, I just did my 100 days focusing on gratitude, so it's kind of weird to change my focus to my writing instead of on gratitude. Um, because I keep thinking about things that I'm grateful for, which I'm grateful for. I'm grateful I can continue to see things to be grateful for. Um, and I may continue to mention that in my videos, but I'm trying to change my focus, shift my focus to um, things that I'm working on as far as my writing goes. Um, so there's, <laughs> there's that today. Um, I attempted to try to do a different schedule today and it, it did not work, which is okay. I'm up a lot later than I wanted to be, again, because I wanted to make sure that I do my writing before I do my video. And I should really do my writing before I go to work and then I could do my video before I go to work because I go get home from work so late. And then I end up staying up even later and it just pushes my days later and later. It's not the best decision, but... Um, I feel like it's something that I needed to do. I need to do my writing. So um, in spite of my procrastinations, because I procrastinate, as you all know, I play my games, I avoid my life, I do whatever. I um, started, I still chose to do my writing tonight. I think that I finished chapter one, rewriting version of The Fall of Us Bengalanda. Um, I'm liking it a little bit better. <laughs> I think I need to change the chapter heading, though. I'm not sure I'm content with that one. I'm still trying to figure out how to tie it into what I had for chapter two, which means I'm going to have to make some more revisions and changes for this book. And for whatever reason, I feel like I need to do the fall of us being Lanja right now. Or maybe it's just because I'm too tired and lazy to work on revisions for Lenoy and the Teachers of Powers or my other book that I don't want to God's hand in my life that I don't really want to read again. I need to. I need to go back through those too. I also need to see if I can't get some more responses from people as far as beta reading for those before I go through them. So that's kind of part of my hesitation on that one as well. Um, but I am grateful that I did kind of finish that chapter because I don't know how many times I have written the beginning of this book and then I'm in the process of rewriting it, trying to make it from only three characters' points of views and making sure I get the right three characters points of views to make the story flow the way that it needs to um, and to make it understandable from everyone's point of view. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do with that because I originally wrote the book from like 20 plus characters points of views and every time I introduce a new character it switched to that character's point of view which um, I've learned since does not make it easy for people to follow along so I'm in the process of um, changing that. So that's going to be an ongoing long process. And um, it's also hard for me because um, I already wrote the book and I kind of have an idea and I start reading things. So I'm like, oh, I like this. And I'm like, oh, but it doesn't go with what the new stuff is. So I have to take out the old stuff for the new stuff. So it's kind of like replacing, deciding what to keep, what not to keep, sometimes rewriting the new stuff to match the old stuff. Kind of a going to be an interesting um, adventure trying to rewrite this book. <laughs> but I think I'm done with chapter one tonight. So I'm grateful that I was able to to do that, to finish that. And then, of course, I want to do my video. And I still need to write in my journal before I can go to bed. Um, because um, uh, I met with my, well, I didn't meet with my bishop. I talked to my bishop um, yesterday yesterday <laughs> my brain my days are all mixed up i apologize but anyway um he suggested that i get like an action partner someone else that i can talk to to discuss my goals with um to help keep me on track and keep me focused um which i guess i need that a little bit more than my videos because <laughs> i have a tendency to not um always follow through with things especially when it comes to setting a schedule and being consistent with myself. But I know that I can do it. I can do it. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I know that I can do it because I did 100 days of videos focused on gratitude. I'm like, if I can do that, I can do, I can do anything. It makes me feel like I am capable of more than I give myself credit for, that I can do this, that it is doable, it is possible, which I'm very grateful for. 
Um, and so I met with my friend today um, and she mentioned that there's things that are just not negotiable that I need to do that are just not negotiable in order for me to stay on top of my goals. Like my schedule may be a little bit flexible. Some things that I choose to do or not do may be a little bit flexible. Um, hours I choose to work may be flexible. Um, but what's not flexible is my scriptures and meditationals. That's not negotiable. I need to do that in the mornings. I need to get my writing in the mornings instead of at night because that would work better for me. Um, although it is interesting that when I sit down to write and I start typing that I actually do feel awake. So it doesn't matter how tired I am, how much I'm falling asleep or whatever. And I'm like, I'm so ready for bed. And I just start typing and I just start praying and typing and the ideas just start flowing. And I'm totally awake while I'm doing that. So I, I love that. I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful that the ideas just flow. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. And then I have to like force myself to stop because I know I need to get ready for bed and I need to do other things. So that's the interesting thing to me is that I struggle to get myself to start writing. And then once I start, I have to struggle to get myself to stop so that I can do other things because I really do enjoy writing. And I really have all of these ideas. I'd like to say brilliant ideas, but I don't know how brilliant they are to anyone else other than to myself. Um, so I, I like that it, I have something to write that I don't necessarily have writer's block. I think the biggest block that I have when it comes to my writing is um, just me standing in my way, holding myself back, the whole fear of success sort of thing, which goes back to my little quote that I did somewhere on my mess of things. See, don't let the fear of success stop you from succeeding. I do that all the time. So I think that's my biggest um, struggle when it comes to my writing is that I, I jump too far into the future as to what's going to happen when all of my books are published and written and all of these things and I'm going to be some famous author, which may never happen. But <laughs> I have a, a vast imagination. It's amazing. But, um, but then when it comes to actually doing the work to achieve that goal, I just kind of freeze. So I am grateful that my bishop suggested I have an action partner, someone to report to. And I was talking to her and it was mentioning that, you know, my biggest issue I think is my emotional status, because if I'm not emotionally, spiritually sound, have a good foundation with that, feeling good about myself, then I struggle to do everything else and I avoid everything else. So, um, reading my scriptures and meditationals and praying to see myself the way that God sees me to start my day helps me to start my day on a, on a good note, to focus on positive things, to make a list of things that I want to accomplish for the day that I feel like maybe God will help me accomplish or wants me to accomplish for the day is a good way to start my day. It's a good foundation for my day. And then I feel better. I'm lighter. I'm in a better mood. And I'm a little bit more willing to do it, especially since I get to cross off a bunch of things. And I like crossing off a bunch of things because then it makes me feel like I've accomplished something, that I've done something, which is weird because I never thought I was much of a list person other than the long list in my head. But the long list in my head just continues to get longer and longer and longer and more and more overwhelming and impossible to tackle. But the tiny little list that I make for my to-do list, which amazes me how tiny that is some days, um, is usually pretty doable. I just have to be willing to do it. And a lot of times I will get most of the way through and I get home from work and I'm like, yeah, I'm just done. I've had a long day. I worked for like nine, 10 hours, which is usually how long I work in a day. And then I just don't want to work anymore when I get home, which is why I need to do all of my other stuff before I go to work because then I can come home and I just have to write in my journal and brush my teeth and go to bed. And that's a much better way to unwind because if I journal at the end of the day, I unwind, I let go of all the stuff that happened during the day, all the stuff that I learned, all the stuff that I was frustrated about. I get to write about all the things I'm grateful for. And it's my release. It's how I um, process things. It's also sometimes how I think that God speaks to me sometimes through my writing um, and helps me to um, not only see myself the way that he sees me, but helps me to put things into a proper perspective to where what I think is negative might actually be positive or how someone else is thinking or that that doesn't have to affect me, which I need. I need to be able to to write that out. So that needs to be something that's not negotiable, which when I did my 100 days of gratitude, I did my journal writing for about 75 days of that. 
I'm assuming it was somewhere in the 70s. I don't know exactly which day I stopped. But I also started journaling a few days before I started doing the YouTube videos. So um, that's my estimate. And I felt really good most of the time having done that. And it made it easier for me to continue. But then I kind of stopped. I let that one go like it, it became negotiable again. <laughs> and so I liked my... Um, friends comments that it's non-negotiable. It's something I have to do. So it doesn't matter how late I'm up, I have to write in my journal to end my day, which um, is what I need to do when I'm done with this video. So um, I may not talk about what I put in my journal as far as writing goes, but I will try to talk about like my writing. Like I said, I finished chapter one and also things that I am, I am grateful for. Um, because I want to continue, I want to build, you know, take my gratitude and then build the writing on top of it and then build another hundred days of something else on top of that. Um, th so that I can continue to grow and continue to build and continue to do more positive things, but without feeling overwhelmed and without having to do everything all at once, because <laughs> I do that too. I try to do that and then I get overwhelmed and then I just stop doing everything. So, um, the gratitude videos. When I got overwhelmed with the other things, I, that was the one thing I continued to do. And I want to continue to make my videos. I don't want to stop making my videos um, because it would be really easy for me to just do my writing and do my journaling and not make my videos and share about it because I'm like, well, I'm still doing my 100 days of writing. <laughs> but then I wouldn't be sharing it. And I learned so much from sharing, doing my gratitude videos. So I want to see what I can learn from my writing um, videos, but I also, I guess, will continue to learn things that I can be grateful for and um, get to decide what to share with things like that. Um, so <laughs> I am I am also very grateful tonight. I had um, an experience where I felt uncomfortable briefly, started having like a little mini panic attack. Um, I got pulled over by a police officer. I didn't do anything wrong. I just um, forgot to put my sticker. I did my registration. I just forgot to just put the sticker on my car. And apparently the little light over my license plate doesn't work. So I need to get that replaced. Um, but I got all nervous and freaked out when I saw that there were police lights behind me and they were like pulling me over, not just like, you know, passing by or whatever. And I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I didn't do anything. But then... I felt like this peace, like I just kind of relaxed and I was calm. I'm like, wait, I didn't do anything. I don't have anything to worry about. So I didn't get angry. I didn't get pissed off. I just kind of sat there. I just answered the officer's questions, gave him my information, showed him my driver's license, showed him my registration, showed him my insurance. And he checked it all out. It all checked out. He's like, all right, well, you got to go put your sticker on and go get a new light and you're good to go. So <laughs> nothing bad happened. But I... I wanted to just say in my video, I just wanted to share that I, I'm so grateful because um, in the past I would have panicked. I, I even remember having experience just seeing police cars going by when I was doing my gratitude videos and panicking and freaking out over authority figures. And tonight I started to feel the panic and then it just kind of, then the thought was like, well, I didn't do anything wrong. What am I freaking out about? And the, the panic just went away. Like I just... I trusted, I trusted God and I just let things go and I I felt so much better and I want to write about these things, I want to journal about these things so that I can remember them and not just in my videos but in my journaling because I think I remember more what I write down than I remember what I say and not that I go back and read my journals any more than I go back and watch my videos but I, I learn from both of them and I think I learn remember more, retain more, or maybe let go of more so I feel more relaxed when I when I write, which is why I need to write, which is why I'm grateful that I'm doing 100 days of writing, focusing on writing. And um, hopefully it's all just working towards my books or revising my books so that I can get one or more of them published um, in the near future, possibly by the end of this 100 days, maybe not. Didn't work for the last 100, so I don't know what's gonna happen with this 100. But um, I'd also want to focus on journaling and possibly doing like some other grief work or 12-step work. So if I don't feel like working on my books, I may work on something else. 
as long as I'm writing and working on something, I'm going to count it for my videos because there's only one of me, but there seems to be like a thousand things that I want to work on and a thousand things that I want to do. And I, I need to bring them back into focus on just the certain things, the non-negotiable things that I need to do. And the rest of it, it's like, if I have time or it feels right, I can do that. But my writing needs to be my priority. I made my gratitude my priority for 100 days. Now my writing is my priority and that needs to include my journal, um, which I did not do yesterday, but I am going to do today. <laughs> So I will be one day behind on my journal, but not one day behind on writing because I did work on my book yesterday and I worked on it again today. So yay, I'm working on things, which means I'm making progress, which makes me feel good because it means I'm working towards my ultimate goal of becoming a published author. So that makes me very happy and it makes me kind of proud of myself because I'm following through with something and then it just makes me um, grateful that I did that 100 days of gratitude because I'm like, I know I did it before. So it doesn't matter how hard or how tired I am. I know I can do it again, which makes me very grateful for that too. So yay, I'm excited. Um, so thank you. <laughs> I think that's all I have. I'm kind of tired and wired. Um, I do that a lot. I apologize. <laughs> So anyway, um, if you like, hit like, subscribe, share if you think this will help someone else. And thank you for joining me on my lovely new little writing journey for 100 days. And we'll see what happens over the next 98 days. I get to count down and it's not 99 bottles of beer today. It's just 98, <laughs> 98 days um, ahead of me. And yes, I like to do the countdown because it kind of helps me. And right now it's kind of lopsided because I'm in the very beginning. Um, but the beginning is always exciting, um, and then the middle is really hard, and even the end is hard. I keep waiting for it to get easy, and it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> so, but at least it becomes doable, and I know it's doable because I did it before, so I can do it again, um, which I'm very grateful for. And so, um, thank you for watching. I um, can't think of anything else. My brain is done. It's ready for bed. So I'm going to write in my journal and go to bed. Um, and I hope you have a great day. And if writing is your outlet, I hope you do some writing. Um, and I hope you can find things to be grateful for and to see God's hand in your life because it's amazing the change in perspective that that can have on you, the effect it can have, as can writing. <laughs> that is, is your outlet. So hope you have a great day full of gratitude and writing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so used to just saying, have a great day full of gratitude. I like that. Um, I may stick with that just because it works for me for the last hundred days, but my focus is on writing this time. So I'm kind of having a hard time shifting, shifting, but I don't want to let go of the gratitude. So it's kind of a, in addition to, <laughs> there we go. We'll do my addition too, but um, that's all I have for tonight. So thank you.